In this video, we're going to take a look at general solutions for trig equations. Usually when we're asked to solve a trig equation, the angle is defined on a certain interval. So maybe from 0 to 2 pi or negative pi to pi or 0 to 360. In this case, it says theta is an element of the reals, which means the solution to this equation uh, will have potentially infinite solutions. We know from the unit circle that coterminal angles, you go one full rotation around the unit circle, hit the same spot, and it's a new angle with the same terminal arm. So we need to come up with a general statement or general solution that covers all of those potential answers. First things first, we have to solve the trig equation, which we know how to do. It's a quadratic in cos theta, so I'm going to get everything to one side. So 2 cos squared theta minus cos theta equals zero. We like quadratics equal to zero. Now I can factor a cos theta. Now that it's factored, it's clear to see we need cos theta to equal zero or this bracket to equal zero. So either cos theta equals zero or two cos theta minus one equals zero. If I solve for cos theta here, I get cos theta equals, I'll add the 1 to the other side and divide by 2, so it'll be 1 over 2. So here's my two solutions for what cos theta needs to equal, but the variable in question is actually theta, it's actually the angle. So the question becomes, where does cos theta equal 0? Well, if we look at the unit circle really quick, we know that cos theta, here's the unit circle, we know that cos theta equals 0 when we're on the y-axis. And that happens at pi over 2, we're in radians here, and 3 pi over 2. So if my interval for theta was just between 0 and 2 pi, these would be my two solutions and we'd be done for cos theta equals 0. However, if this is pi over 2, I can go all the way around the circle, hit the same spot, and cos theta is still 0 there. How did I do that? I added 2 pi, added one full rotation around the uh, circle. Likewise, you could go backwards 2 pi, so minus 2 pi off. However, we actually don't need to go, we can come up with an even better general solution. Uh, we start here, so at pi by 2, and it only takes a rotation of pi to get down here where another solution lies and then another rotation of pi, and then another rotation of pi. And you'll hit, keep hitting those two spots if you just add or subtract a certain multiple of pi. So I'm going to say here that theta equals pi over 2 plus 2, sorry, plus k pi. And I'm going to specify that k is an element of the integers. You can either use capital I or capital Z sometimes for integers. So what does this mean? It means we can start it means we can start at an angle of pi over 2 for theta and add any multiple of pi or subtract and that's where the integers comes in. Integers are negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 and positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4 or 0. So it, that's going to include pi over 2 and any multiple of pi afterwards. That's, that way it's going to keep hitting every single time around the circle at these two points. Now we need to do the second bit. Cos theta equals a half. Where does that happen? We know that that happens when theta equals uh, pi over 3 or theta equals 5 pi over 3 because cos is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant. If we take a look at a diagram, again that happens here at pi over 3, or here at 5 pi over 3. Note that they're not um, equidistant apart like they were here. So we can't say add a certain amount to pi over 3 and then add that same amount to 5 pi over 3 because we won't get back here because they're not equidistant apart. So I'm going to look at each individual answer and I'm just going to add 2 pi each time to each individual answer. 
That way, if you do the same thing with the k, you can do 2k pi for each of these. So I'm going to say plus 2k pi or plus 2k pi here, where again k is an element of the integers, k is an element of the integers. So that's a quick look into general solutions. Our solution would be here and those two. Those represent all of the different uh, possible outcomes for theta that satisfy this equation. And because we've added our 2k pi or our plus k pi each time, that's telling the reader or uh, demonstrating the solution to be you can continue to go around the circle, hit the same spot, and that will still give you a solution that fits into this equation. So hopefully that was helpful and you understand general solutions a little bit more. Um, you can always send us more questions to info at arnoldtutoring.com. Please subscribe if you like this video. Maybe leave a comment if you still have questions, and we'd be happy to help you with anything else. Thanks.